Hello loves and happy holidays. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas if you celebrate it. If not, I hope you're having a good uh, Christmas break. Um, I wanted to come to you guys with a nice smoked out New Year's Eve kind of look. You can wear this to parties, you can wear this on a night out, or you could just wear this whenever you want to because do what you want it's your face <laughs> so I decided to use more of the warmer tones rather than making a cool look um, I know that the new Pantone shade of the year is Marsala so I decided to use something with more redder tones and I opted for using my Lorac Pro palettes and also some of the shades in my Lorac Pro 2 palettes but it's mostly the Lorac Pro palette so if you want to see how I achieve this look then keep on watching happy new year Mwah. okay love so I've already primed and moisturized my skin I use my Emberlease Lock Cream Concentrate which is my go-to lately and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a facial oil and I have the best damn beauty oil I just received this in the mail a few days ago and I've been testing this out so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my dry spot I have like a really bad dry spot like right here on my forehead and I'm pretty much just putting it on the central parts of my face and under the eyes I'm going to be using my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, and this one's in the shade Nude. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this in with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and move on to the eyes. I have already primed using my Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do my brows, and I'm going to be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Go ahead and take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I'm just going to use the spoolie part of it and just brush through my brows. So I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette. So I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be using the shade Cream. With my 239 brush, I'm going to be taking that cream color and just placing that under my brow. I'm going to take a little bit of my Painterly Paint Pot and apply that on the lids. I'm going into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and taking one of my favorite shades, Nectar, as you can see there, and, that, and placing that on my crease. And I love this color because it adds a nice warmth to the eye. Taking the shade Garnet from my Lorac Pro palette, the original, I'm just going to place this on my lid and packing it on. This is a beautiful color. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and just blend this crease. I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss 04 brush and going in with the black shade on the Lorac palette and I'm going to hit the outer V. And kind of push it inward or brush it inward so it blends. I'm going into the crease as well, very softly and lightly. Back in with the black and build up that color on the bottom. Go back in with my Sonia Kashuk brush and just blend that outer V. And I'm going to go in and place some more of that Garnet in the center of the eye. I'll take my Sigma Tapered E35 and go in with the mauve shade in the palette, which is this one right here. Put that on the crease. And it adds to that smoke effect. You kind of want it to look like it's smoking out of your eye. I don't know if that makes sense. Take the same brush and go back in with a little bit of nectar from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I have an obsession with this color. If I don't use it, I feel like the look isn't complete. That weird totally weird so I'm pretty much just gonna mix two colors together I'm gonna take the gold and the light bronze shade from the original Little Rock palette and blend them together I'm going to dip into the bronze first and then the gold tap off the excess and I'm gonna take that on the inner corner of the eye the light bronze because it is a little bit more brighter and take that on top of it 
gonna go in with that gold shade using my finger and mix it in with the garnet and place that on the center of the eye to see how this looks. Can you tell I'm winging it? Ooh, going back in with the garnet and just kind of sandwiching it together and it just gives that extra um, glittery kind of look. I'll be taking my Maybelline Age Rewind. Um, this one's in the color light. Uh, take that under the eyes. I'm just gonna take a wet sponge. This one's the precision blending sponge. Right. I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of my L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Cream Concealer for some extra brightness. I'm using my two favorite shades. You guys should probably know this by heart. From my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, I'm going to be using the vanilla and the Marina shade under my eyes to set that concealer. And I'm going to be de-virginizing my Wayne Goss 02 brush. Oh gosh. It's everything I want it to be and more. <laughs> oh my god, this brush is... Alright. So I'm going to go back in with the light bronze shade. That again on the inner corner and bring that to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back in with Garnet. Take that under the lash line all the way. I'm gonna go back in with the black and just smoke this out on the outer V. And as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it even up above the lash line. It kind of gives me this wing effect. And just blend that. I'm gonna line my eyes using my Inglot Gel Liner in 77. I'm gonna slightly wing it, it's not gonna be a dramatic wing. Go ahead and tight line with the same gel liner. Okay, so I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line as well. You don't have to line the eyes, but I feel that the difference is substantial, especially on my eyes. I have really big eyes, cow eyes. And what that does, it kind of just, I don't know, finishes the look for me. The mascara and lashes, yeah, this is like people's favorite part, right? <laughs> apply lashes and I'm going to be using my Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. Go ahead and take my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in 020 Light and my Real Techniques Big Brush, <laughs> Powder Brush, and just powder the rest of my face lightly. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Highlights and my MAC 150 brush and I'm going to go in with that Sculpt. And this does have shimmer but it doesn't translate like that on the skin. And just go ahead and go where I would normally contour and give myself this bronze and just kind of bring it up to the temples and then I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this lightly on my temples and on my forehead go in with that highlight and take my Sigma f35 highlight brush and I've been using this lately with this brush and I'm just gonna take that on the high points of my cheek and stop right here so I'm gonna take it on the tip of the brush tap off the excess and take it under my So for the lips, I'm going to go for more of a nude brownie look. Um, and I'm going to go in with my Jordana Easy Liner in Coco Loco. And I'm just going to fill it in the center of the lip, kind of like contour my lips with it. Like that. Alright, so I'm going to be using my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Nude. Of course, I have to go for a matte lip because that's my cup of tea, okay? Since we're going to party it up, I'm going to go ahead and set all this face and I'm going to be using the Best Damn Facial Spray from Best Damn Beauty. Of course, Nicole Guerrero created the... 